Okay, do you need help setting up your automatic watering system? That's what we're doing today. Hello everyone, I'm Chris from Rusty Rabbit and welcome back to the channel. So today we're making a simple video, at least automated watering systems that I've talked about in the previous videos. Uh, this is something that it's a step by step on how to do it. It's very simple. This is going to be a uh, head pressure system. So it's not using any kind of regulator stepping down the pressure from your, uh, your you know, house hose bib, your house pressure. It's just going to be gravity fed. So uh, very simple. All the parts are in the description and uh, let's get going. Okay, let's get started. So the first thing you do, there's a lip on the bottom of the drum. Make sure that you don't, you know, get too close to the bottom. So give yourself, you know, self another inch or two above that and just kind of get your hole saw drill right through that metal. Be careful, it's going to heat up as you're spinning it around. And so what I like to do, this is like a, it's some sort of file. I forget what they call it. Uh, but basically it's, it's a half moon, so it's rounded on one side. You're going to find that, or at least I do, that when you drill your hole, it's not perfect for the... Uh, the bulkhead to slip through. So take that file and kind of work it around. It'll kind of make that hole a little bit bigger so it slides through easier and it'll it'll smooth it out as well. So once you have that, you get your bulkhead through um, and it's gonna be kind of rough on the inside. So it, it makes sure it comes with these little rubber gaskets. Put one on the outside and put one on the inside and then you'll screw it tight. Uh, if you screw too tight, that, that gas is gonna kind of get flimsy. So you can, uh, you can put some plumber's putty or something like that on the inside if you need to, uh, just so it doesn't leak. Also, anytime you do anything with watering, you're always worried about leaks. So what I like to do is just take some plumber's tape, get around any kind of threaded area. So this little um, nipple that the hose uh, connects to that, that adapts from the, the PVC over to the, the rubber hose. Um, you want to make sure that that threading is, is good and wrapped with the plumber's put, or um, I'm sorry, with the uh, plumber's tape. So do that, make sure you're threading it in the right direction so it doesn't unravel when you screw it in. And then take that little piece of PVC and, and you know, just kind of thread it through. Uh, do it by hand to kind of get it started. But at this point, you may as well make it as tight as possible. So what I like to do is take some um, uh, channel lock pliers, uh, get it to, to the right size. Uh, it doesn't have to be super tight, but you know what, if water's going to look for a way out, why give it an excuse? So this is an easy thing. You don't need to glue it or anything. Just get your, your channel locks on both sides and really kind of uh, you know, torque it around to where it fits nice and snug. That, you know, there's no gasket or anything, so that plumber's tape will, will serve as sort of a, a, a barrier to make sure that no water is kind of leaking. After you get it nice and tight, it should be right up against the PVC. Uh, so there shouldn't be really any kind of any gap. You can't see any threads when you're done. At this point, you know, you really want to build, you know, the, uh, the piping that gets out of your barrel over to your, your piping or your, um, your tubing. Uh, so you don't need a tape measure. You don't have to make it perfect, but just kind of do approximate lengths and, and get it cut nice and clean. I like to glue everything. Um, so this is the, the primer. You start with the primer on one side, um, you know, and then you glue just so it's a nice clean surface and, and you have good contact and uh, you know really uh, strong bonds. This is not necessary, but again, anytime you start talking about with water, I, I don't want it to leak. So that first, that purple is, is a very visual that, hey, this is primered, and then the glue is typically a clear glue. Uh, you know, I make sure you just get it all around uh, so that there's no, uh, th there's no section that's not glued. So, uh, like I said, you want to sort of build this to where you get your entire um, uh, thing set up. This right here is an adapter. It goes from a one inch pipe down to the half inch that you need. Um, and so that just looks like a plug, but it, it's not. It's just a, you know, a, um, oh, a reducer uh, is basically what it's called. So your whole setup here, you, you're coming off as a one inch. You, you turn it around with an elbow. Uh, then you're going to reduce it down to half inch and a little bit uh, of space. And then I like to put these valves here to shut it off or leave it in line. Uh, and then extend it out and again turn it to where it's lined up for, for your tubing to connect to. So here it is connected to the uh, bulkhead. And you see right here, you know, coming right off there, you have some space to where you can turn on and off. At this point, fill up your barrel. You want to let it sit and then leave that valve turned off and just check it for a while. Make sure it's not leaking, because if it's starting to drip, then you know, okay, it's not a good seal. Uh, at that point, you connect your tubing 
over to your your little uh, connector here uh, and then again with water make sure you have tight connections so uh, I know it's only uh, you know gravity fed but still pressure kind of matters um, so I use these these little uh, rings here and, and I, I really close it shut once I get all everything connected I open up the water it's it's gonna you know you'll hear it bubbling and, and kind of filling in the lines and then the first thing you need to do is go over to each end point where you have your water nipples and, and kind of push them like that and make sure they actually are working. Uh, and at that point, you know you're good to go. So check your whole system. Here's my system right here. I have four grow out cages that are uh, all in series. Um, so you see right here, there's a the little water nipple at the first station and then I connect it to uh, a little 90 degree brass point over here. Uh, goes to the next grow out cage where there's a, a, a T connector and then you know coming off of there again the, the water nipple same thing for the next spot uh, and then at some point it, it eventually terminates over uh, to our PVC. That is the entire setup. Very simple. You will notice that a lot of times the water's gonna be leaking from the nipples. Sometimes it's because they're sloppy when they're getting the water out and sometimes it's because there's a leak. So you have to constantly check it. Okay guys, that's that's it. I mean, it's pretty simple. Uh, just a few words of warning. You put in a big watering system like this, a big 50 gallon drum, something like that, your thought usually is like, oh, I'm good for like a week or two. Uh, but I would caution you, make sure everything is working properly. So check them daily. Um, sometimes you have a leak and you don't realize it somewhere in the system, or maybe um, you know, something gummed up the line and, and it's not coming out at the, at the nipples for some reason. So you just, you want to make sure you exercise all that every day, make sure everybody's getting water, uh, or you're going to kind of get, uh, caught not paying attention. Uh, make sure you're, you're keeping that thing full. Uh, usually the last, you know, would, of course it depends on how many animals you have, obviously, but, but make sure you're checking that, uh, with, with much regularity. Um, but that's about it. Uh, if you need anything, you know, questions, comments, anything, leave them down below. Um, hopefully this helped you. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please consider doing that. Um, and I guess until next time, God bless.